Well, CBS 46 is your school authority and coronavirus and closing elementary schools all over this time in Pickens County. Harmony Elementary School reporting two positive cases of COVID-19. More than 18% of the staff now in isolation or in quarantine. The school will reopen October 26th. They're offering curbside meal service every day from 11 a.m. until noon. And switching gears right now, students in Cherokee County back in the classroom after nearly two months of being shut down because of COVID-19. And after pictures like this, a spark nationwide concern and outrage. Astro Martinez live outside Woodstock High School with how the district is working on a very safe return. Astrid. Good afternoon, Karen and Yeg. Yeah, Woodstock High School classes are back in full force. Like you mentioned, this after a major outbreak earlier this year, and the entire district was under national spotlight when several pictures went viral showing massless students and little social distancing. Now school officials tell us that they're making changes to prevent any further outbreaks and to make sure there are no further school closings. One after the other. Dozens of cars and buses pulled up to Woodstock High School Tuesday morning. Cherokee County High School students are being welcomed back into the class for a second time. They said we're going to school full time now. In-person learning resumed after nearly two months of temporary shutdowns due to massive COVID-19 outbreaks. In August, high school students switched to virtual learning. 10th grader Sydney Hope is not pleased with the back and forth. Got to adjust to it to switch all school, which is kind of annoying. For working parents, in-person instruction is a relief. It's not bad. Okay. It's good for me. Take a look at these pictures from two months ago. They sparked nationwide headlines. Dozens of seniors closely gathered posing for picture day. Not one has a mask. Creekview, Etowah, and Woodstock High became coronavirus hotspots. Now Cherokee County schools have made changes for a safe return. Class sizes will be reduced, social distancing will be in effect, and masks are now mandated. The district is also keeping families informed of COVID cases. They have been like emailing us how, um, of the students have, that have been getting it, um, but it's not like a lot, it's like a couple people. And for those students that are not comfortable learning in person, digital option is still available and that will continue into the next semester for middle school students and high school students only. No word yet on the elementary school students. We'll keep you posted, of course. For now, I'm live in Cherokee County, Astrid Martinez, CBS 46 News.